So what is ethics? That's what we'll be talking about in this video. Well, biology is the scientific study of life. Ethics is the philosophical study of morality. Reasoning which is an essential trait of humans, cannot happen without making judgments. Morality is using reason to determine what is right or wrong. Now, beliefs are based on experiences and ideas. Beliefs combine to form an individual's belief system, which is how a human processes information about their world. Beliefs are what judgments are based on. Now, judgments are the deciding process During the consideration of beliefs, both new and old, judgments are based on beliefs. And in turn, they shape beliefs and belief systems. So you can almost think of judgments as being the cleaning mechanism for our beliefs. Our beliefs are based on experiences and things that we have, and, and we have a belief system based on our beliefs. Then when we're presented with new beliefs and information, we make judgments on those based on our beliefs. But also, as our belief system changes, we might change our judgments. We might change our beliefs based on judgments and our belief system. And so hopefully, throughout time, our belief system is being made internally consistent. Now, there are two different types of judgments. Normative judgments are used to determine societal norms. So norms are actions and practices which are collectively acceptable. Within a society or a culture. And these normative judgments come in two different categories. We can make value judgments and we can make prescriptive judgments. Now, value judgments evaluate conduct as good or bad. And these will be an individual assessment. Whereas prescriptive judgments these will be things like rules or laws or codes of conduct. They evaluate conduct as being right or wrong. And these are societal level assessments. And so value judgments, these are individual actions and individual assessments. Whereas prescriptive judgments, these are societal level. Now, it turns out all judgments are based on one of six different foundations. And so we'll talk about these. The first we'll talk about is subjectivism. Subjectivism is feeling or commitment to something. This is an opinion. You just think that way because that's the way you think. You've come to this decision not based on anything else, but just because of how you feel. That's subjectivism. Next, we have cultural relativism. In this case, this is based on social authority. These are the rules. This is the culture. This is the process of this civilization or society. So cultural relativism, this is how this society does things. 
Next, there's egoism or self-interest. This maximizes one's own welfare, and this is in contrast to the concept of altruism, where the priority is helping others. The next three foundations for judgments are objectivism. This is reason or divine authority. It's outside of and independent of humans, that this concept that there are values that exist outside of human thought, human society, human culture. Utilitarianism. is a form of judgments based on empirical evidence. Usually this is represented as the greatest good for the greatest number. And then the last font, and then the last foundation is this concept of virtue. That there's a goal or a, a conceptual ideal, and so things are morally right or wrong if they're taking you towards that ideal. One of the goals of this course is to talk about the similarity and differences between science and ethics, how they might be complementary, yet entirely different ways of answering questions. So ethical decisions have to do with what is or should be considered morally right. As I had mentioned, this is outside of the realm of science. And yet, we can use the results of scientific analysis to determine whether we find the results of certain actions or decisions to be reasonable or morally correct. So bioethics and medical ethics play a very important role in shaping our society. I'm reminded of a little banner that a friend of mine shared on Facebook many years ago at this point. And it says, science can tell you how to clone a Tyrannosaurus Rex, yet the humanities can tell you why this might be a bad idea. Now, it's not to say that all science is foolhardy or has no direction, but science left to govern itself is not going to be morally sound uh, based on the rules of the society that you're in. Now, if your society says there are no moral rules, it's just science as is, that's still a philosophical, ethical, and societal decision. What I want to share is that you can't only use one way of asking and answering questions to guide a society or even an individual life. Different ways of asking and answering questions are needed in many different aspects of life, both individually and at a societal level. In our next module, we'll be talking about all the different types of living organisms. We'll be discussing the diversity of life.